You've decked the halls, you trimmed the tree, now it's time to undo all your holiday decorating. Just sounds so depressing. <laughs> like it or not, the season has come and gone, so how can you pack it up without losing your mind or your prize decorations? We've called in a professional to help. Nikki Manley is an organizer extraordinaire from Extreme Line Living, and she joins us now with some tips. Welcome, Nikki. Okay. You are so organized compared to me, and as I said, it's so depressing. This, the, it, everything just went up, now it's coming down. Show us how you organize things. Let's start sure. with the big boxes. Well, basically, you know, when you're packing everything up, it's important to use the proper things and tools to mm -hmm. store them because you're going to have lots of damage if you don't. Um, this is a great bin. It's for ornaments. Right. And it has dividers in it, so it's easy. You just put things in. Nothing gets broken. Nothing gets broken. It's all safe. It's also clear, so mm -hmm. you can see through. You know exactly that's your Christmas ornaments. Right. I also like to label the bins, too, just to make it easier. And you like, to, you like to color code as well. Color coding is great. If you notice, the bins come with red lids, Christmas colors. Um, there's green bins with red lids, too. It just kind of keep everything together. Yeah, Christmas has become this big explosion of, of different kinds of ornaments and that Absolutely. sort of thing. And so you've got this size. You also, I think, was kind of unique this mini ornament yeah. talk, talk about that and how you how you store that because well, that's something we see around the house for every sure. day everyone can find these kind of items an egg carton and you just fill up with small ornaments that keeps everything easy and then label it too so you know exactly what it is right um you i mean if you can't go out and buy all the special tools that's fine but this one here is great it's for lights right and um it actually has little holders so you wind up your lights or your garland, and it just hangs right like in the bin. Pull mine off the tree yeah. and shove them well, into a bag. It's always well. a nightmare every year. Yeah, it takes forever to decorate because you, it's such a mess. But if you keep everything nice and neat, it's better. Another option is yeah. um, in a bin, you just get some shred, like just shred up your bills mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah, and um, yeah, your visa. Yeah, yeah, everything's in there nice and neat. And nothing again gets broken. No. Okay, what's this? For your wreath, it's, wreaths can easily get damaged because mm -hmm. they tend to just get shoved into a crawl space. But this is, um, it's actually a, a case and it has a hanger on it too, so you can hang it up, it won't mm -hmm. get damaged, put it into the bag and it's ready to go. And the same for your Christmas tree. Right. Always you have the Christmas tree, it's in the box. It can never get fit back into the box when you're done. So this is an oversized bag. It just zips right up. It's okay, ready to I, can, go. I can just imagine your house that is just perfectly organized. So where do you where do you keep all this stuff? Is there a special <coughs> cupboard where you're supposed to keep your Christmas yeah. stuff? Can you shove it under your bed? What you can, can you do with it? Yeah, that? a lot of houses, you know, especially condos, there's limited rooms. So there's under the bed storage bins you can use too. But generally in your house, you want to put it in one space only, mm -hmm. not not in the basement, mixed around in one space. So. Think about like a crawl space underneath the stairs or if it, in your garage if you have shelving above your car, right. you can put it there. Remember, you're only using these items once a year. Right. So you don't need access through them for the rest of the year. And you need to also advise paring down. We've yeah. got like kids' decorations from over the years yeah. that you're advising as yeah. well. Yeah, and they're, they're wonderful. I mean, kids bring home homemade things all the time, and that's great. You can't keep everything, and everything is precious, yes. I know. But, so give it as gifts to other people or put a, a homemade ornament as a topper on a gift to, you know, the grandparents or things like that. Make it special. But this is a good time to evaluate your decorations. What did you not use this year? Mm -hmm. What haven't you used in two years? Maybe it's time to donate that and start again. And what can you get in the sales? The, the yeah. The percent sales every are going on Yeah, you buy every year in the sales. So now maybe you don't need everything and get rid of the broken items and start new for next year. Okay, well, I want you to come over to my house a little bit later. No Nikki, problem. I want to thank you very much for your <laughs> time. That was great. Now it's time to go over to Seamus and the AM Kitchen.